What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town when you see me. From Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's the National Football League's championship game. Jack, your thoughts here as we're moments away from the kickoff. I think it's very cold, Ray. The Cowboys stayed in Texas all week long, came up here Friday. A little cold weather. They tried to get acclimated to it, but we didn't quite anticipate this 12 or 14 below zero, which is what it is. And once again, we'll hear the hue and cry around the nation. Why can't they play the championship game at a warm weather site? Because we've still got a sellout crowd here at Lambeau Field. That's why. They got incredibly bad weather. You have Lombardi's last run at it. You have the Cowboys and the Packers, all the Hall of Famers on the field. It's New Year's Eve, everybody's watching it. It's a historical moment in the history of sport, that game. Bob Hayes, when he was in the pattern, he would come out with his hands at his side and he would be swinging and running. When he was not in the pattern, he would have his hands in his pants. Packer defense gave up that one big play on the play to Runcel on the halfback option by Dan Reeves to give them the lead. The pitch out to Reeves, he'll throw the option pass way downfield. It is complete to Lance Runcel. He's at the 10, the 5, and into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's the Dallas Cowboys 17, the Green Bay Packers 14. I would say that the Packers have got their work cut out for them now. Cowboys had a great defense, and Green Bay has done nothing throughout this game. So they get the ball at the 32 yard line. To me, it's the greatest drive in NFL history. Fires it, the pass is complete to Boyd Dollar. Dollar is belted to the ground almost immediately, and he's gonna get up rather slowly. Flips out to the right side to Donnie Anderson. Gets by one man, he's at the 40-yard line, and down to the 39 of the Cowboys. They had a long way to drive the ball into the wind, and they did it. They made a great play through the halfback on the left side, and Dave Edwards, our, our linebacker on that side, just wasn't able to make the play, and it took him all the way down to about the 13-yard line. First and 10 from the 11 of Dallas, straight ahead, Mercy! Listen to this crowd. And yet, at the end of the game, we thought we had him stopped. Star to Anderson, he did not get in, and a timeout is called by Green Bay with 20 seconds left. And Anderson did not make it, and Starr calls timeout. Probably the only play they'll get to run unless they want to take a chance. It was not fourth down, it was third down. But they had no more timeouts left, so theoretically it's the last play of the game because they can't stop the clock if they don't get the touchdown. The Packers inches away from something that has never before happened in pro football history, a third straight NFL championship. Star begins the count. Takes the snap. He's got the quarterback. He's leading to the touchdown. The Packers are out in front. And the Green Bay Packers are going to be NFL champions for the third straight year. And that title meant more to Coach Lombardi maybe than any other because no one had ever had three in a row. To me, that might be the most significant game in the history of the NFL. I don't see how you can talk about the NFL and not talk ice ball. I just love my team. Yeah, that's the team with them big G's on the helmet.